Welcome back guys to Hacksplain. In this episode today, we're going to have a look at Burp's repeater functionality, which is super useful. All right, so let me show you what Burp repeater is for. And we have set up over shoe shop once again. And imagine you want to have a look at a certain HTTP request. For example, the add to basket request. So you click on add to basket and you see the product was placed into the basket. But you don't really know what happened. So you go to burp, you go to intercept, turn it on and you do the very same thing again. You see Burp popping up down below there and you have the request. Actually, it's probably this put request right here, which was triggered when you clicked on add to basket. And you see that the quantity was two and you let it through, add it to basket. So now you have the idea to manipulate the request to see how the website reacts and you want to do that a couple of times so what would you have to do you would have to go to add to basket it's actually um, intercept is turned off so let's turn it on click add to basket go back to burp and now you would say okay let's see what changes if i um, for example say quantity should be 10 instead of 4. So I change the quantity and go to forward request and we see you can order only up to 5 items of this product. So instead of doing this over and over again with intercepting the request which gets kind of boring, we can do something else. We can use verb repeater. So let's turn off intercept, go to HTTP history, Let's find that request. Let's see if this is the request we want to manipulate. It looks pretty good. And now we can send it to repeater. So there's two ways you can do that. First of all, you can click on the right mouse button and say send to repeater. And you will immediately see the repeater tab lighting up orange in, in the top of Burp Suite. So this is uh, way number one how to do that but you can also say um, let's click on control R and send it to repeater so now you see the repeater tab lighting up once again so let's go to repeater now and I want to show you the regular repeater usage right now and after that show you a couple of tricks and tips on how to use bird repeater so in here for example we see our quantity once again. So if before that it said 10 was too much, so let's say quantity should be five. We click on send up here and we see, okay, this item with quantity five was added to my basket. Okay, so what else can we do in here? We can, for example, say, um, let's see if this still works if I remove a couple of characters from my authorization header. Let's see if we can add something to the basket if we're not authorized or not authorized correctly. Let's send it and we'll see, oh, you're not authorized. You get back a 401 HTTP response. So over here you see a back button. Click that and you will see the previous result again. And you will also see that your change from before is undone and you can change something else again. So let's see what happens if we, for example, change the content type and say, huh, what happens if we send application HTML to the web app? So we change that, go send, and it didn't really do anything to it. So, as you can see, Burp Repeater is super handy because you don't have to intercept the request over and over again. You can just go to the Repeater tab and change all the stuff that you have in mind right over here. 
All right, so up to a couple of tips and tricks. If you add a couple of other things to Burb, let's say um, you go over here and now you add the banana chews to the basket. You will see that the banana chews was placed into the basket. You go back to Burb Suite to the proxy tab and we will see this request up here. And obviously we can send it to um, repeater. So now you have two tabs in here. Actually, we have three in here, but let's remove one of them. So this was the apple chews and that was the banana chews. But as you can imagine, you could get a lot of tabs up here, which could get kind of confusing. So what you can do is you can double click the tab and say, hey, okay, this is my add apple juice request. And then you go over here and double click this tab to say, for example, add banana juice. Okay, so a couple more tricks that I wanna show you. Instead of using the send button over and over again, which is kind of cumbersome, you can do something pretty neat, which is uh, going to the user options, go to the MISC tab, hotkeys, added hotkeys. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can find something interesting, which is the issue repeater request action. And I have set the hotkey to control plus enter for that. So what that allows me to do is if I go back to repeater, I can just switch from my mouse to the keyboard and change a couple of things down below here. For example, I wanna I wanna add this to another basket ID, let's say basket ID 10. And instead of using the mouse, I can just go control enter and you will see that the request was sent to the server. So what else can we do in repeater? Let's say you have a huge response, like the one you can see over here on the right. This is a massive response, and it's kind of hard to figure out if there's a certain string in it that you might be looking out for. So you can make use of the search functionality down here and say, I would be interested if my product ID is in here. And as you can see, if I type in product ID right over here, I already have a couple of search results popping up and it immediately tells me that I have eight matches. All right, what else can you do in Burp Repeater? You can obviously close the tabs up here like that. You can change the host and port and say we're gonna use HTTP instead of HTTPS. And you can use all the other tabs up here to, for example, just check out the headers or look at the response in its hacks format. Or also use certain verb extensions. So for example, JSON Beautify over here, I have downloaded in the verb extender tab, as you can see right here, and JSON Beautifier puts itself into the repeater tab right here and gives you a nice representation of the JSON response. All right, this was it for the basics of Burp Repeater. I hope you've learned a little bit today and thanks for joining us in this section. So please subscribe and leave me a message if you have any feedback. Uh, apart from that, see you next time.